In the following video, I want to talk about three of the best ways that you can progress your rehab exercises. These are very simple ways that you can apply into your routine and obviously make things harder for you as you progress through your rehab. Try to think about what these might be, okay? So pause the video here and try to think about uh, what each one is going to be. You can even comment uh, underneath the video uh, and then once I've uncovered them, you're going to see whether you are correct. Let's crack on with the first one. I'm going to remove the piece of paper that's essentially protecting it and we've got time under tension okay so i'll even try to draw a little clock here uh, which was not very successful i'm not very good at writing on the whiteboards as you can see but this is one of the best ways and easiest ways for you to progress your rehab because it doesn't require any equipment whatsoever like i said the time under tension technique can be used with any exercise out there as an example the single leg stability exercise is a great way to work on your hip stability knee stability and everything uh, related there so instead of me doing 30 seconds of going through all these movements like which you've seen me do multiple times with the bands around the knee i can go up to 45 seconds or 6 seconds and so on and so forth okay that's how easy it is to progress through the time under tension. Easily do the same for the upper body. Uh, as an example, I'm going to use the bear position. So essentially going into, into that all four position and spending 30 seconds here, uh, 45 seconds, 60, going into a single arm and doing the same, okay? So literally you can apply this into any exercise as long as you increase the time progressively. Now that we've gone over the easiest way of progressing an exercise, uh, we can essentially move into the second uh, example here, okay? So now I'm going to remove the piece of paper that's covering it, and we've got increase the lever, okay? So hopefully most of you got this right. Uh, if you did, then congratulations. Uh, but this is one of the best ways that you can really progress and uh, make your rehab more difficult. This applies again, just like with the time under, under tension to any exercise. It's a little bit more difficult to apply though. So I wanted to show you a very clear example of what this means with a couple of exercises. So let's, let me show you that now. To show you a very clear example of how to increase the lever, I'm going to use the knee flexion exercise with added lateral band tension. This exercise is great for MCL problems and if you reverse the band, you can also target the LCL. Okay, what's happening here? We've got point A, which is attached onto my squat rack, and point B, which is attached onto my knee. Okay, now the lever between the point here, which is my knee, and the point of tension is quite small. It's literally this this big at the moment. Okay, now when I'm creating the movement, I'm literally creating knee flexion, and the band is applying that lateral tension, which is really focusing on that medial knee, okay? But because the lever is quite small, you won't really feel as much unless you actually have an injury. To make the lever bigger, I'm going to move the band lower down, and this straight away increases the two points of tension here, which is the knee and the band. So now the lever is twice as big. I'm creating the same movement, which is going to be a lot more difficult because there's a lot more tension going through my leg. Point number three, where the lever becomes the biggest that it can be in this exercise, is when the band attached onto my ankle, okay? And again, you've got that point here where, it's the, the, where you've got the knee, and the other point down here at the ankle with the band tension. When I create that knee flexion, the lever is so big that now you've got the entire lower limb that's uh, essentially creating that tension, and doing the exercise becomes a lot more difficult than when I've initially uh, started. And then we've got the final way of progressing your rehab exercises, and that is increasing the tension or the weight. Okay, again, this is a very simple way of uh, progressing your exercise. It can be done in most situations, but in combination with the other two, this makes a really good plan for you to use uh, in your rehab exercises because it's going to allow you to obviously progress them from uh, you know different angles and different ways uh, and all three are essentially different types of tension. You can increase the tension and the weight not just by adding more weight physically to an exercise. For example, if you're using a 12 kg kettlebell, you can go up to a 20 kg one. It doesn't really uh, just work that way. What you can do is also increase the tension that's coming from the band. So let me show you what that means. You can increase uh, the tension that the band is applying to your body. Okay, so again, we've got the anchor, which is point A somewhere on my 
my squat rack and point B here. Okay, so just uh, like any band would do, you've got that continuous resistance that increases as the band increases its length. Okay, so if I want to increase the weight that's being applied into my posterior delt here, I'm going to move my entire body slightly to the right, which then increases the length between the a, uh, point A and point B. Okay, and that's how simple it is. Okay, so increasing that resistance by increasing the distance between the anchor and point B.